into the first part of the three-tiered technical data management solution, the TDM file format. You can choose from a variety of format options for measurement data storage. Unfortunately, careful consideration of data storage options is not typically at the forefront of application planning. The format choice is often overlooked in favor of higher visibility decisions such as hardware system design or software architectures. Data storage decisions are sometimes made arbitrarily or on an as-needed, per-application basis without second thought for reusability and scalability, which leads to complex and costly software re-architectures. Because applications and requirements change over time, even the most popular traditional storage formats quickly fall short of meeting the demands of engineers and scientists to time-based measurement data. This table shows the pros and cons of some of the most commonly chosen storage options for measurement data. National Instruments introduced the Open Technical Data Management Streaming TDMS, file format as a result of the deficiencies of other data storage options commonly used in test and measurement applications. The binary TDMS file format is an easily exchangeable, inherently structured, high-speed streaming capable file format that when combined with the other technologies in the NI Technical Data Management Solution becomes quickly searchable without the need for complicated and expensive data design, architecture, or maintenance. The single most important feature to understand about the internal format of the TDMS file structure is its inherent hierarchical organization. The TDMS file format is structured using three levels of hierarchy, file, group, and channel. The file level can contain an unlimited number of groups, and each group can contain an unlimited number of channels. Because of this channel grouping, you can choose how to organize your data to make it easier to understand. For example, you may have one group for your raw data and another group for your analytic data within one single file. Or you may have multiple groups that correspond to sensor types or locations. At each level of the hierarchy, you can store an unlimited number of custom scalar properties, and each level accepts an unlimited number of custom-defined attributes to achieve a well-documented and search-ready data file. The descriptive information located in the file, a key benefit of this model, provides an easy way to document the data without having to design your own header structure. As your documentation requirements increase, you do not have to redesign your application. You simply extend the model to meet your specific needs. The more custom properties you use to document your measurement data, the more easily it can be located at a later date by using an NI Data Finder client that abstracts complex database communication from the user. Sometimes it's impossible to use the TDMS file format. For example, occasionally customer or supplier requirements dictate that you must use a particular file format for data storage, and certain traditional instruments automatically provide data output files using a custom format. Furthermore, legacy measurement data that has already been collected in a particular fashion cannot be recollected simply to store it in the TDMS file format. For this purpose, National Instruments has created a technology that you can use to provide a description of how to map any arbitrary custom file format onto the TEMS data model. You can create this technology called Data Plugin using a DM wizard or program it using VBScript, C++, or LabVIEW. Once you have described how to interpret your custom file format using the TEMS data model, the NI Data Finder can identify and index descriptive information, enabling searchability from an NI Data Finder client, like the Data Finder Toolkit or DDM. To download a data plugin for the most common uh, formats, or to request a data plugin be written for free for your custom uh, format, see ni.com slash data plugin.